What's up? We're DFTV, and this is part two of trying McDonald's in Thailand. You ready? Yeah. So it is the afternoon, and we are going to a different McDonald's. So we're gonna get the rest of the lunch slash dinner menu. Are you excited? Yes. It's gonna be a feast. Feast. Sorry, Cap. Uh, can I have one of the Caprao chicken, one egg, and soup? Chicken carbonara pie, one shrimp paste, rice with fish, pork burger, and the pineapple pie, pepper chicken burger, corn pie, and uh, one hamburger, full set with the wings. Uh, also Coke Zero, uh, one small french fries with a cheese dip, the spicy num tot burger. I'm sorry, sold out. Sold out? Okay. No. Then uh, one of these, only burger. That's it. <laughs> no problem. So what is different here, they have this uh, cardboard menu. This is basically all there is with the promotions that are on the wall. So the selection is a little smaller than in Europe, but also very different. The most unusual thing is probably this rice dish. Like they have different kinds. They even have soup and we're gonna try that. They have a lot of different pies that we do not have in the US. You can see corn and pineapple and sometimes they have apple as well. I feel like the McDonald's, especially throughout Asia, is more of a sit down hangout place versus in the US it's more of a to go you grab it and go fun fact they have these stations where you can get tomato chili or ketchup in Europe you had to pay for additional sauces which was really foreign to me every McDonald's here has a hand wash station and it's outside of the toilet you can just go there so you can eat with clean hands Are you ready to eat all this food yes it's a lot of food we got we got a lot. We ordered a lot. She thought I was done with the order like eight times in between, <laughs> but I was not. Let's see if they got the order right. I'm excited to try all that out. Yeah. All right. So we got all our stuff and we're ready to eat. These are all things that aren't typical in the US or Europe. Almost all of them. We have some fries and hamburger, but the fries come with cheesy dip, which is pretty cool. I would say we start with a burger because it's McDonald's. Looks pretty normal. It's got your standard ketchup and pickle. I'm a pickle person. I, like the I admit it. The best thing of the burger. Tastes like McDonald's all the way. That's super normal. But let's try the pork burger next. We don't have a lot of pork burgers in the US. Looks standard like another one. The patty looks a little pale. It smells different. Mm. Weird patty. Ooh, I like it. Yeah, it's like a tender, well, it tastes like pork. I would rate it strange. Same as the hamburger, just pork. But I prefer the, the beef. It's a small burger, it's a cheap burger. They had these one for one deals where you're allowed to get one burger and then fries or like a little pie or something or an ice cream. It's a cool thing and it was 49 for the one plus one. So anyways, try the fry, look at that. Cheese dip. Ooh, there we go, yeah. That is cheesy. Those nacho cheeses that you get at like a football game or a basketball game. I've never been to a football or a basketball game. It doesn't taste that cheesy. No. Ketchup. I'm a ketchup guy. I accidentally ordered a normal Coke and a Diet Coke. So this is finally the time where I can do the taste test. We're gonna see who can tell which one is the real Coke and which one is the Diet Coke. And I'll bet I can. I. Do you know which one was which? No, no I don't. I, I do. How do you know? First one. So he knows, but I don't. I know. Diet. Wrong. Is that, is that right? It's wrong. Ah, that one's more flavorful. First one was diet. Yeah. You wanna do the same with me? First one. Just from the first one, I would say that's diet. Let's see the comparison. It's very hard to tell. I would say first one, diet. Second one. That one's diet. No need to drink the sugar, although diet is supposed to be very unhealthy too. It's not good for you because it has aspartame. I don't want either of these. You can have it. Thank you. We'll just do one more burger. Mm -hmm. This was on the one plus one too. And it's this little chicken, a lot of mayonnaise. The pepper chicken burger. It smells good. It's a lot of mayonnaise. So you can immediately see there's a lot of mayonnaise coming out of it. It tastes like a McChicken. Yeah, like a cheap version of the McChicken. Oh, he's gonna finish it. <laughs> We're gonna do the fried chicken now. So this is something we don't have. That's something usually I would go to KFC for, Mac fried chicken. Oh, we'll see. Ooh. A 
There's two kinds of there. Drumstick. Oh, drumstick. And a big fried chicken piece. I like the color. It's Look at the coloring. It's so bright. Oh yeah. Come to mama. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That's pretty good. Ooh, it's got a nice kick to it. Spicy fried chicken. Uh, excuse mm. me. What would you rate this? The seasoning is really nice. It's spicy. Give Actually, we tried the fried chicken at KFC mm. here because KFC is everywhere in Thailand. I think it's over flavored. They have this almost powder like layer of spices on the chicken wings. At KFC, you bite into a dusty thing. I'm not a fan. This is better. I like it better. McDonald's makes better fried chicken than KFC. Mm-hmm. Uh, what do you What do you give this rating though? I would say it's an eight. Yeah, I would give it an eight eight point five. That's really good fried chicken is fried chicken is famous in europe but it's not as famous as in the states we have kfc mm -hmm. and we have schnitzel which is a big fried chicken or pork or whatever but we're missing out on these Let's see what this one can do make a mess here gonna rip that apart oh it sounded good the seasoning is probably the same but Mmm. Mmm. Dang. Here's that fried chicken. Mmm. This is why people go back to junk food because it just tastes good. You're eating it and you know this is not the best for me, but you're still eating it. Whenever I'm abroad, it's so much better. They have cooler things. We went to Hooters once and you had fried chicken and that was horrible. Horrible. And it was like twenty dollars for like a tiny six pieces with barely any meat on it. Mm -hmm. Maybe it was nine pieces. We're gonna give the rice kisses a try. This is the Krapao chicken, and by the looks of it, it looks just like a McChicken or a chicken tender cut up, and they put the sauce on it. We actually get this dish when it's late, and McDonald's is the only thing that's open. Because it's very consistent. You know what you get. So here's where they got the order wrong. I ordered it with an egg. There's no egg. They have a second dish. This is the shrimp paste dish. And you can choose between chicken, pork, and fish. So we got the caprao with chicken and this one with fish. Um, you can see here that's probably the, the McFit. What is the fish burger called? Fish for life. We got that for breakfast. It's probably it the same thing. Nice. And with these little meals, you have the option to get an egg on it. You get a little soup and uh, you get a drink. Here's the soup. Oops, I don't know if you can see it. It's got like noodles in there. There's onions, there's carrots in it. It's the caprao. And the fish thing. This is the one if it's like super late, we need to grab food, we grab this, bring it back, make our own fried egg, add some other spices on it, and eat it. Should we try the fish one? What is it called? Shrimp paste fish. I would give this one like a four. The Krapao chicken is more of like a seven. I truly believe that these are the most unique dishes to McDonald's Thailand. This is the reason why I like McDonald's here way, way more yeah. than back in Germany. I would give this an eight or a solid nine for an everywhere available cheap option where you exactly know what you get for the money. This one, the, the paste is, I don't like it as much. Yeah, it paste. tastes like fish sticks. Good, definitely worth to come for the chicken dish. Mm -hmm. Let's try the soup. They even gave us a yeah. soup spoon there. It kind of tastes like a canned soup. Dude, I like it. I love it. Yeah? It's funny, every time I eat a soup, I'm like, I, I never crave soup and I barely eat soup. And every time I do it though, it's like I should eat way more soup. All right, we like oh, the soup. And what I noticed about McDonald's here is the menu is not as big. We have way more big burger options. Best Thanks. burger in Germany, big tasty bacon. Big tasty. You know what I'm talking about. Do you have the McRib bones? McRib sometimes no. disappears. Anyway, they just have like an option of two promotion burgers. This specific McDonald's only had this one, which is the big Angus beef yeah, burger. Yeah, check out this packaging mm, this though. <laughs> By McDonald's. <laughs> okay, smaller than expected. That's what she said. Thank you. <laughs> well, this is a nice package. The Signature Collection by McDonald's. Ladies first. Oh, thank you. Tell me what your biggest bite is. One bite. This We're so gonna compare bigger. them. Wow, mm -hmm. humongous. There you go, look at the bite. Whose bite was bigger? You know how she always teases like I'm biting everything away. He does because he normally doesn't take one bite, see? Oh. Case in point, he always takes two bites. It's like, um, um, make out with it already. I had bigger siblings, I had to eat fast. So I just mentioned the big tasty bacon and this is a similar sauce, so it comes close. It's definitely a step above the cheap $1 burgers. Yeah, it's not five guys. It's the best burger at McDonald's in Thailand. That's like the little brother of the big tasty. No, you can have it all. I don't want it. Mm. 
See, there's a big bites. What would you rate that out of 10? For McDonald's, this is an eight. Five Guys is a 10. This is a six. Now we have these, which are the coolest things. Oh. There's a corn pie, pineapple, and then they have this special for carbonara. Goodness, we're opening the corn one now. Oh, it's like corn and cream. Ooh. Dude, I, I'm, <laughs> corn is wrong on that. <clears throat> I don't hate I'm, corn, I'm not a big fan. I don't like corn on pizza. They did that in Austria a lot. That's so wrong. Get the corn away from my pizza. They put it on tuna pizza. I don't like that. You need that. Meanwhile, I'm gonna check the ham and carbonara. It sounds better. Looks the same. Ooh la la. Whoa. It smells like a spaghetti dish. But when you would make it in the microwave. That's not good. You like it? No. Mm-mm. This is worse than the corn. All right, that's weird. All right, we'll try the last. Pineapple pie. Oh, look at those pineapple chunks. It smells super sweet. It smells like uh, Haribo gummy bears. It's pretty good. I could see the appeal. Although, preferably, I think apple is probably the best. Yeah, definitely. Out of these three, though, I like this one by far the best. Mm -hmm. All right, so. What is the most unusual item from McDonald's here? I think the most unusual item is, are probably one of the pies or the rice dishes. These are a bit weird. I don't like the corn pie. I don't like the carbonara thing. Pineapple was all right. But the rice dishes are pretty awesome. That's a good reason to go to McDonald's in Thailand because McDonald's in general, I try to avoid it because it's not the most healthy food out there and uh, try to lose the fattiness. <laughs> Who would have thought you can eat chicken and rice with a macaroni carrot soup yeah. inside of McDonald's? <laughs> Pretty good. So overall, not too shabby. But bonus round. Bonus round. I got one more item. It is early December. Look what they had. It is the normal Sunday ice cream, but a jelly bottom. Apple taste jelly. It's super toxic green. Ah, oh, lactose gets to try it first. It's lactose intolerant. We're going in. That has brain freeze written all over it. It tastes like that German spaghetti ice. You like it? Wackel pudding. Wack? What? I have jello, German jello. <laughs> Wackel pudding. I would like it better without the, the apple jello. But it's not bad. It's not very Christmassy to me. What? Green and red? That's super well, Christmassy. Color -wise, yeah. Yes. Overall, it was good. Our experience with trying all the different ones at McDonald's, also a reason to try them all. <laughs> yeah, it's a good reason. Justified. <laughs> anyway, uh, overall, I think it's a better place to go in Thailand than it is in Germany. I don't know if it's... The in the US I don't eat McDonald's, but I only eat McDonald's abroad because they have cool things. I definitely recommend the rice dish with the soup. All right, so I guess that's gonna be it. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give us a big thumbs up. Let us know down here what you would try or what you think you would like. Maybe check out Burger King next, KFC, what else do they got? We have it internationally everywhere. Anyway, thank thanks you so for much watching. for watching. We're gonna finish our stuff. I will see you next time. Bye. Life could be a dream. If I could take you up in paradise, I'd If you would tell me I'm the only one that you love. Life